Hey guys, happy Friday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. Hope you're all enjoying your day so far. I'm here with another candle review to share with you guys today from Bath & Body Works. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review of Bath & Body Works' The Perfect Autumn. Definitely check out that candle review if you did miss it. I will leave a link in the description box. But um, next up here, we have Bath & Body Works Harvest Pomegranate. So neither of these scents are new for um, Bath & Body Works, but they are new to me. I have never tried this one before. I have seen it before in the store. I remember seeing this one last year, but I just have never picked it up. And I don't even really know what it is about this one that kind of scared me away, I guess. But maybe it was because it was a fruitier scent. But I'm really coming around to this one, you guys. And I really love this fragrance. And I'm so glad that I picked it up and I've tried it. Because this is a great uh, fall, like, fruity scent. I feel like that's kind of the scents that I'm really enjoying right now. Like, the fall fruitier scents. Like, the apples and the pomegranates and the cranberry and just, like, the different fall fruits. I think it's just really, really great for fall. And it's a great way to transition into fall because it's not, like, full-on, like, pumpkin spice or, um, you know, like... It's not full on fall. It's just like more of a transition. You're easing into it. Um, I think I'm actually going to do a fall transitional candle suggestions maybe next week. And um, I think that this one will be on that list just because it is a fruitier fall scent. And so I think that this one would be really nice to start here in like late August or early September when you're not quite ready for full on fall fragrances, but you just want a you know, difference from your summer tropical scents. You want something a little bit more, you know, cold. You want something a little bit more uh, like fall-ish, but it's not full on fall. So I think that this is a great transitional fragrance. Um, this is currently available. I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in shopping. Bath & Body Works is currently doing a sale right now where they have 50% off some select clearance. A lot of it is fall stuff that um, is some really great products, including this candle. So it goes down to $14.95. Not the best deal, but um, if you are looking for a good new fall fruity candle, then I think that you will really like this one and you want to you may want to snag it up on this sale. But um, anyways, let's get right into it with the notes and then the description, and then we'll talk about the burn, the performance, uh, strength and throw, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, so this says that it smells like a sweet autumn fruit basket. You guys, it totally smells like a fruit basket in autumn. Like that's exactly what this smells like. Couldn't have said it better. Um, your notes here are rich pomegranate, freshly picked apples, and sweet black plums. So this does really, you know, have that like fall fruit scent to it. This really does smell like a basket of fall fruits. The main fruit that I get in here is actually not the pomegranate. It's the apple for me. I get the apple. Um, the apple is really, really nice in here. I love apple during September and even August. I love apple. I just think that it's a great transitional fragrance and it's just a really nice way to ease into the fall fragrances. And this apple note in here is really, really nice and it blends in really well with the other fall fruits that you get in here. Like the pomegranate, you do get pomegranate in here for sure. I feel like pomegranate is a little bit hard to pick it out to pick out. I don't feel like people are like, oh, that smells like pomegranate. You know, like that's not something that you really think of. But if you've tried the Bath and Body Works pomegranate lemonade, it's similar but also not the same. Um, this one has more of a uh, tanginess to it I think I think it's a little bit more sour where I thought maybe the pomegranate lemonade was a little bit sweeter and maybe a little bit more tart but this just blends in really well with that apple the pomegranate and the apple makes a really nice fall fruity blend and then the plum in here also mixes in really well. Um, that's another thing that I've noticed. I've really noticed that I'm coming around to a lot of like different plum scents. I feel like plum is a beautiful fruit um, scent that is used in home fragrance. And I've really appreciated a lot of different plum fragrances in the past few months. And I just really like this scent. This is a great fruity fall scent. It's very fresh. It's very welcoming. This is a great 
fall candle. Um, so again, if you're looking for like a nice fruitier fall candle or you're not quite ready for fall, like you've still got some hot weather going on, I think this would be a great one to kind of ease into fall with. And it's just a really nice fruitier apple pomegranate fall fragrance. So really like this candle. Let's talk about performance on here. I will go ahead and turn this around. I do need to blow this out. Um, the wicks look a little bit crazy right now. I'm going to blow this out. It's been burning for about three hours now, so I need to blow it out and then trim the wicks, obviously. But the burn on this one is doing really well for me, you guys. The wicks have not had any issues. Um, they are not puny, but they're also not sooting on me. So I'm just trimming these after the burn, and then they're doing well. Um, no drowning wicks or any issues like that. They're just doing really, really nice for me. That is my favorite type of wick. I love the ones that don't soot, but they're also not puny. They're just like that perfect contained wick, and that is what is on this one. So I really love that about this wick. Um, the actual burn of it, though, is doing great. There's no... Uh, wax residue there's no sootiness or dirtiness or anything like that and this one it's just a really nice clean burn the strength and throw on this one is also really really nice it is like a solid nine for me almost this um it doesn't fill up the entire house it's not quite reaching upstairs but it is definitely filling up the entire downstairs with that beautiful fruity fall fragrance um, so I would say this one's about a nine for uh, throw and then the strength is about an eight. This is a very strong candle, maybe too strong for some people, but I just think that it's really nice. Um, that is with the hurricane. I have been using this in a hurricane, so um, that definitely helps to increase the strength and throw a little bit. But if you're looking for a good performer, then I think that this one would be really, really great. I know Bath & Body Works can be a little bit inconsistent, so I can't promise that yours will be a good burn, but as for mine, this one's doing really well for me, and it's a great scent as well. So I'm going to give this one two thumbs up, you guys. I'm really loving um, Harvest Pomegranate, and like I said in the last video, I love, love this label. The way it shines up when the candle's burning is just really, really beautiful. I'll go ahead and zoom in here for you guys. Um, this is just such a great label. It's in the same collection as the Perfect Autumn. And it's just like this beautiful color. This one's more like a purplish almost, um, like a maroon and a purple. But it just illuminates really, really nicely. And I love these like fall foliage or destination candles. I think that they're really, really pretty. And I'm definitely a big label person. So Anyways, guys, that's my thoughts on Harvest Pomegranate from Bath & Body Works. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried this one before. I would love to hear it. Again, check out that description box for a link where you can shop this candle. It is currently on sale, so take advantage if you would like. Um, but again, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye.